Hello and welcome home to Timeheim. Today we're going to look at the first video I ever made on this channel, or the first video about watches, which was a YouTube short about how this Seiko SKX makes a weird noise when I shake the watch. Now, why would I shake the watch? I don't know, I just did it, and you probably did it too, because that's how we found this video, if you, if you search for it. If you're a loyal subscriber, then thank you for subscribing and watching. So, I will just quickly let you hear the noise that it makes. I will hold it against the mic. That was a bracelet. That actually was the rotor like moving vertically up and down. Not just winding, but moving up and down, which is, that's not its main purpose. But it is a consequence of the amount of play that the bearings have. And at first, I was worried for the Seiko SKX, I made that YouTube Shorts. But from what I could see, many people experienced the same. And I sent it in for a service, with a service card, etc. And I got it back the same, and they claimed there was no issue. So later on, my brother got the Seiko 5, and it makes the exact same noise. And I have also got this Tissot PRX, and I thought it would be high-end Swiss, not high-end, but... I thought this would be completely quiet, but well, it's it isn't as loud as with the Seikos, but you can still hear it, but you don't feel it as much in your hand, but you can hear it. As I said, there was no issue with the Seiko, not with Tissot so either. This one, I, we never sent it in, but it's the same as with the SKX. We here have the Seiko NH35, it's an NH35 because it only has a date complication, not a day date, but still it's a very similar movement, the overall architecture is the same, build quality too. So, get a toothpick to not damage the movement with our oily fingers, nor with metal tools, make sure I'm in focus, yeah. I hope you see it. If I tap the rotor like this, you might see how the light play changes slightly. It feels similar to when you shake the watch. You can feel how the rotor makes contact against some other part of the movement, and that is what causes the noise. Either that or just how it like blocks inside the bearing. However, you will now not see anything at all. You would just have to trust me if I hold it upside down and do the same thing. Careful not to damage the movement. Now it's much louder and I can feel it much, much clearer than before. And that's like the way it is when you have it in, when you wear it on your wrist. Because then the date is up and here we've got where you put your hands. Uh, so yeah, when you got it on your wrist, you feel it more. Gravity is putting the rotor down, so then there's more space for it to move vertically. Or now, try to shake the movement, like if it would be in the inside of the watch. Yeah, you must hear that, right? But again, it might annoy you, but you will just have to accept it, because this is normal. and. I don't know how it would be with a Rolex or Patek Philippe or whatever. They, they're they probably not as loud. But I still think there is some minor play in the rotor bearings there. Because otherwise, I think it's... You know, this has to rotate freely. And if the bearing is completely stiff, then... I don't know how well that would work. Yeah, these are reliable movements, again. I've had the Seiko for more than three years, worn it almost daily, uh, and it runs great. It's it's more accurate than my Tissot PRX. It runs at like plus two seconds, where the PRX is like plus five or six. Both run well, but the Seiko runs better, and it's been running well ever since I got it. So I can't complain. Yeah. Like really, don't worry. If 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 the rotor makes like a scratchy noise, like yeah, not the best example, but 
If it sounds like it's scratching or if the watch doesn't wind well automatically, get it serviced. But if it seems to be working great and just makes the same, like, oh, whoops, bracelet. It makes the same noise as my Seiko and like when you're winding it, it's maybe... There was someone who wrote a comment that claimed it sounds like a zipper, which it kind of does. That's completely normal. That's, the zipper noise is just from the winding. While the other noise is from moving it up and down. If your Seiko runs well, enjoy it and wear it. I had no problems with mine. And I don't know, get it serviced after five, ten years. Might as well wait. Yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you liked the video. Goodbye. Bye.